Scanning. Identity authorized. Welcome to the Secret Superhero Club Podcast Network. Welcome everybody to the Animation Station Podcast. My name is Josh and joining me today, I have a very special guest. Isabel, is it? I'm, I'm so bad with names. Isabel <laughs> Toro Martinez? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. And sh- you are the creator of Laylene's Curse. Yes, all right. So, um, so Isabel, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm a 26 uh, girl in Spain, in, in Spain that uh, did some uh, 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 graphic design in in, in college, college the, the in university. And then uh, I started to do comics. So yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I no, I'm working with webtoons. That, that's amazing. That's what every, every uh, I always I wanted to do that. So that yeah, that's amazing. I, I was a colorist in a, a small uh, editorial in Italy mm-hmm. before. Um, yeah, but I, I I always wanted to do something original. So yeah, no, now I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, have you have you been a fan of animation and comics growing up, or like what possessed you to want to do a uh, a web comic? Um, I started watching like Kato Sakura when I was la- really young, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" <laughs> <laughs> so I started uh, drawing a lot of Sakura, and then I I wanted to be uh, an uh, an architect, uh, an engineer first when mm-hmm. I was little, but then I started to feel like I need draw uh, drawing. It's, it's like uh, breathing. <laughs> I need it, so I started to do some illustration, but then I feel empty because okay, illustration was alright, but I need to tell some this, my stories. So then I started to do manga, mm-hmm. but then I was like, but I need color because black and white is not my thing. It's like it, it feels like something is left. So I, I was like, I need, I need to do my own comic with colors, and then I started searching for doing my my own page in a website or something like tapas. But then uh, I was a friend with uh, Miriam for from Hooky in Wetum. Okay, yeah, Hooky, yeah. Mm. So she is from Barcelona in Spain too, and I'm I'm a friend with her. And when she was there working, I was like, oh, my God, that would be really cool <laughs> to be like her. So, yeah, I started, I started in this in, in Discover to try. And, yeah, I, I like it, the format, so I, I keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, you worked on, you were doing some manga and everything. I completely agree with you. Like, I, I read manga a lot, but hmm. there is a, a point where you're like, I need some color. Like, yeah. you'll, you'll get, like, maybe a color page, like, once every, like, five chapters, and it'll be one page, and then hmm. that's all. Hmm. Yeah, I agree, because it, it feels, uh, you need to add some color, and when maybe the character is angry, you can uh, focus that uh, emotion more with a red or some, you know, with colors. Mm-hmm. I think colors are really important, and... It's easy for the reader, the readers, to understand the characters. Oh, okay, this character has blue hair, so I know that. So it's more easy for the readers too, and yeah, uh, I like it a lot. Um, especially when, um, like, because there are some uh, artists out there who a lot of their characters look very similar, and yeah. if you don't have that know special hair color or Mm. they have uh you know something uh, you know different about them that is colorful it's it's very hard to you know distinguish characters yeah yeah it was really difficult i know some i love some of the shoujo uh artists like arina tanemura Mm -hmm. she she was she is really cool but (laughs) she uh, her faces are like a 
all the same. And I was like, oh my God, who is this girl? Oh, she seems like this one. So I was like, oh no. Yeah, it was a pain. <laughs> um, but I, I will say, um, just going off of uh, your comic, you draw everybody, which I, I appreciate because I'm a big fan of kind of background characters hmm. and like ancillary characters. So like hmm. whenever you watch like, because a lot of it, especially in the US, um, it's a lot of lazy animation. So hmm. they'll like almost cookie cutter models the exact same person, the exact same, but then they'll just change your hair color. And hmm. I hate that because I can always tell. Or they'll just reuse the same people over and over. But I like what you do in your comic where each person is unique. So, like, if it's a background character, they're not going to look like anybody else. They are their own background character. And I really mm. love that. Yeah, uh, I agree with your opinion. Like, it's like um, when you do that flat uh, charter in the background, it's like it's like a war with uh, when only the protagonist mm -hmm. and it feels empty and when I that I didn't like that uh, I don't know if you I maybe you di didn't watch Doremi uh, Ohamajo Doremi but it's a it's a, a really inspiration for me it's an anime and the, the thing they had is they uh, they sing all the classmates. Uh, they did uh, with uh, Boku no Hero Academia too. Mm -hmm. They did all the classmates, and it feels really full. It's like uh, it's, la la it's like life. You you have a lot of characters. You maybe don't mm, never will know that 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 character like looks really cool. <laughs> but yeah. It's like life. <laughs> but it's, it's there, but you you know. Uh, and I like that. It's like you have a lot of people. <laughs> Maybe you, the protagonist, will never know, but it's there, you know. And I like, I like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, some editors are like a bit uh, scared of that. It's like, oh, but you have a lot of characters, and I go, like, yeah, but <laughs> it is it uh, helps to the world to to build to build the world, mm -hmm, you exactly. know. Yeah, so it, it's like it's not I'm gonna develop all the characters, but they are there for a proposit for a for a reason for a reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and and that's what the world bo building building. I think I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> so yeah. Well, because I mean, I've noticed that in a lot of, because um, I I'm I'm in the U.S., so uh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. refer to it as as like our domestic animation is very limited. Like they want to focus on the main character and like mm -hmm. maybe like two other characters, and that's all they're gonna fake it, uh, focus on. But a mm -hmm. lot of um, non-American media, like uh, for instance, um, like you you can kind of say Miraculous Ladybug because like they mm -hmm. do a lot with a lot of their background characters. And then, like, Wake Fu, all of their characters are all unique, all differently drawn. And uh, I think, see, uh, Miraculous is French, and Wake Fu is, is also French. So I guess it's French animation. They care about background characters. But, <laughs> uh, and I've noticed that a lot, because like, uh, you, you will have some, uh, you know, Japanese anime that will do that. But then, kind of now, everyone's kind of moving more towards that, like, almost 3D CGI so mm -hmm. everything, everybody kind of looks the same. They're all like weird, like robot looking models. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's just some people are just scared of showing uh, those secondary character. And it's, I don't know why they're scared because when you have a protagonist and only the protagonist is like, how are they going to develop? Because you can develop a protagonist by himself or herself. Exactly. Yeah, you need a world to develop the character. And it's okay if you have secondary characters. Uh, they just need maybe a little developed to feel that they are human, but nothing more. It, it's like <laughs> I have a, a talk with a friend and he was like, oh, but you, you have... Uh, but it's not right. You have. Uh, why are you uh, doing the the family? Because I was greeting the the family in the in the 
in, in my comic, you know, mm -hmm. and it was like, yeah, but I need to write that family because, you know, the charter have a family. They are not dead. Exactly. Well, and, and, and that's a lot of like a lot of things now. It's like, here's a child character, but then you never see their family ever. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Does this kid live alone? I, I don't know. Like, I feel bad. Like, should I should I call somebody? You know, when in Kingdom Hearts, he, Sora is in the house and he left the island and you're like, but you have a mother, what happened with them? Exactly. Like, wait, what, did, did these three kids, are they all orphans? Like, I don't understand what's wrong with these three. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, I, I have to tell my friends and my editor, I, don't worry, I will uh, do the protagonists. Of course, they are the protagonists, but I need the, uh, they need a family, they need other characters. Don't, don't worry, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> they are like scared and I'm like, no, no, please don't be scared. This, I think this is important. Oh, definitely. Um, so <laughs> let's go ahead and kind of talk about uh, Laleen's Curse. So hmm. we have our main. Well, actually, you know what? Let's let's do let's do this. What was your influence when creating this comic? Okay, my main uh, influence is uh, was a uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Well, okay. is one of my <laughs> main uh, inspiration. I like all the the world, the 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 magic how uh, the outdoor be develops all the magic uh, and the society that she uh, that outdoor has i think and the and the final i think it's a really uh, nice manga to to start to final and the characters are uh, uh, everyone is nice develop and you and you have a lot of characters that <laughs> you know and Everyone is really nice, and everyone you like. Wait, you're, um, you're not gonna turn David's sister into a chimera, are you? No. Okay, I hope not. I hope not. That was rough. That was a rough bit. Yeah, I know. I know. It was a traumatic. Thing. <laughs> yeah, another inspiration, as I said before, Ohama Hodoremi. Um, oh, there's like re recess. That's okay. that's my yeah. That's you my. Uh, I, I, can, I can see some recess in there. Yeah, now, I now love that you recess. mention it, I'm like, you know what? It is very recess. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I was like, oh my god. Okay, other inspirations was uh TV TV shows paranormal that are in Spain. Everything paranormal. Um, people, are, a lot of people say that re they remain my comic to strange things. But the thing is, uh, this comic is a lot before strange things. Um, I saw uh, Super Super Eight, the movie of okay. uh, Steven Spielberg. Mm -hmm. Uh, that one is, I mean, Stranger Things is fit in Super Eight. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so I know why they compare me to strange things, but <laughs> I think I, I like more the movie. And then, uh, you know, it, it, the, the straight arrest, I don't know how to say in English, it, it, <laughs> you know, the Steven Spielberg movie about the, the alien mm -hmm. and the kid, you know, and the Goonies too, that, that old <laughs> show. Uh, yeah, see, you're, you're saying all these, and I'm thinking about like uh, from reading the comic. I'm like, yep, yeah, I see yeah. that. I see it. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, um, and you know, uh, Ghost Adventures. <laughs> I'm not really <laughs> fan of Zach Bacon's, <laughs> and yeah, uh, I love that drama about the ghost <laughs> and that show. I don't know. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, the, a lot of a lot of shows in Spain about and uh, real cases of of ghosts. I love those things. Yeah, I think that are my main experiences. Yeah. So, ah, oh yeah, Gravity Falls. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I got you. <laughs> Gravity Falls. Um. <laughs> so course. so why did you decide to do aliens instead of ghosts? Unless the aliens are ghosts, and we just haven't read that far yet. 
Yeah, <laughs> who knows? I mean, I started uh, with aliens, but later you will have ghosts. I mean, I, I will do everything because I, I think aliens are in 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 supernatural too, and mm-hmm. in that uh, topic. So yeah. Hmm. So um, uh, can you give us a, a little bit of a, a non-spoilery um, kind of uh, rundown of your comic? Uh, okay. Uh, so there's a, a course about uh, this town. And that course uh, do some things in uh, how to say it uh, <laughs> the the paranormal stuff mm-hmm. gets a lot worse because of that course. So you will have uh, those kids that will search for clues about paranormal. Uh, supernatural, uh, excuse me, <laughs> and then yeah, they will have a lot of uh, things going on, <laughs> and there are gonna be a lot of. I I, I can't say too much. <laughs> I know it's really hard, but I like doing that because no. it's like okay, because I can tell you what I think of the like I can tell you what I think of it the whole entire time mm. and and everything. But when you hear it from the author. That hmm. when that's when it usually you know it it gets deeper, because mm. you have a you have a different love for it than I do. Because like as a reader, I I have a love for it, but you as the creator, you have a completely different love for it. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I can't say too much because if I say maybe I say a lot, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Let's say they they gonna see a lot of things. And um, and they gonna be in a dangerous and uh, situation. So yeah, they gonna uh, tr- not try to to lie to life to with that paranormal situ- paranormal situation supernatural. Excuse me, I'm saying that in Spanish. Uh, and. That and live with the normal life with school and exams and try to <laughs> overcome those two different worlds. Hmm. And um, I mean, we have our main character, David, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, and I-, I like what you, you've done with all of these kids. You can tell that everybody's friends. Like, and there mm. is a, uh, there's a deep connection between everybody. Which hmm. I think is which I think is great because I mean you have uh, David and Felix relationship, and then you have a uh, relationship with uh, like say uh, David and Cody that's going on kind hmm. of right now. Which you're you're leaving us in suspense. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so the relationships uh, relationships about the characters um in spain we are more easy to do uh relationships and friends because we are more uh, uh touchy and like a more um, uh, near person like i don't know how to explain uh we are more social to say and everyone is like we they have because some comment, comments I receive is like, oh, but why are they so such a big group of friends? And I'm like, why not? <laughs> I don't know what's the problem. <laughs> and yeah, they have so, uh, they are uh, friends uh, since some years ago. Um, some some of them are more friends than others. And then they gonna, I'm gonna develop that like a lot of conflicts between between them. Are are you uh, planning on uh, diving more into like how some of these characters met? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I I don't know about uh, I don't know about um, some of your other readers, but I love that stuff. Like like oh. the history type stuff of like oh this character like. Uh, David met Felix when they were wee children back in the day. You know, stuff hmm. like that. You know, th- that's the type of stuff that I like. Hmm. 
Ja, Felix and David, uh, they, they meet when they are babies because their parents are really uh, a big family. But yeah, other characters are, yeah, are <laughs> fun. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna show all of that because the the series are 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 a little long, and I want to show and develop all of them. Yeah. Of course. Um. So, what are some of your um favorite moments from like interactions with fans and everything that you've had since you uh, released the comic? Okay, uh, one of the fun things to see about the reaction was episode 9, like the weird, weird spirit world. <laughs> uh, that episode, uh, everyone was like, oh my god, why why you do this? This is so scary or something like that. And I was like, oh my god, this is nothing. <laughs> and the other one was in the episode the last episode with the cliffhanger. Oh my gosh, yeah, the cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah, everyone was like, oh my god, why? Uh, uh, Cody has the red eyes, what is happening? I don't know. <laughs> they, are, they were so confusing. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, it's, it's one of those, like, I wanted to go back and reread everything, but mm. since now you're going to be featured, you're going to have to start everything over, so now you mm. can't read any of the previous stuff. So I'm kind of sitting there and I'm like, man, because I really <laughs> wanted to reread because I was going to grill you on questions. Yeah, yeah. When you reread, you're going to see some of the clues <laughs> uh, I left because some people uh, noticed some things before around episode seven and five and seven. <laughs> it was fun. Some, some people uh, are really. Uh, they really, they really notice some things. <laughs> they are, yeah, they I don't know how to explain, but it's really nice when people notice everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, there, there's some things that get noticed, I mm -hmm. will say. Um, hmm. And, you know, obviously there's definitely the speculation. Mm, yeah, which, which, definitely. Which we won't go into hmm. because of spoilers. Yeah. We'll do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Now, um, what uh, what type of story do you want to tell? Like, well, like what type of story do you want to tell with uh, Laleen's Curse? Okay, I want to tell a uh, uh, supernatural, but in my culture, like in the that North Spain culture, with uh, our ghosts and our witches that are called are they are called, called megas and. Um, they are, I mean, there are a lot of similitudes with uh, European culture mm -hmm. and mythology, but they have some difference that I like and I'm going to uh, show. And of course, the, the Spanish uh, culture that nobody knows because everything is like or American or England or Japan and no Korea. And I'm like, OK, let's show something that nobody knows. Exactly. Yeah, and, and yeah. that is that is definitely something like uh, like you don't get a lot of uh, it. It feels. I mean, from uh, America, it's like it doesn't feel like we get a lot of you know like Spanish animation or anything that's heavily from Spain. Um, yeah, I mean, you'll get something like like I like I'm gonna mention Miraculous Ladybug again just because that's super French, like hmm. so French it's ridiculous. So yeah. it's it's really French, and they bring it over, and it's it's great. But then, um, like there's there's really nothing else from. I mean, you get some stuff that's English, but not a lot of stuff from Spain. So this was yeah. this is really kind of refreshing, um, especially because mm -hmm. uh, we got to uh, interview uh, uh, a, an animation director, Salvador Simo. He uh, directed uh, Bunuel in the Labyrinth of Turtles, which is a short film about uh, Louis Bonuel and it was it was fantastic and so it was I, I was sitting there watching it, and I'm like we don't get a lot of stuff from Spain and I mentioned mm. that with the person that I was watching it with um because we had you know press passes and everything for this festival so I was talking with him and he was mentioning the same thing like yeah we don't see a lot of stuff coming out of Spain 
So the fact mm. that you're actually in Spain and you want to represent the Spanish culture, I think that's mm. really, I think that's really interesting. Yeah, because mm, people or they don't think Spain exists. Like, wait, I thought I thought Spain was Mexico, and I was like, what? <laughs> what do you know? Or they only think on flamenco, uh, bullfighting, or paella and siesta, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna show I'm gonna show that those stereotypes are grown. I mean paella paella is not a, is a right stereotype. <laughs> I I eat as a I mean paella is not a a national dish. It's just a regional dish. Like uh in my part of the of, the, of my city mm -hmm. that is where we eat paella. But the rest of Spain, Madrid, Barcelona, they don't eat paella. And if you go to a restaurant, maybe you will, won't get a nice paella. You have to be careful with, with that. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to show that. No, so because like Japanese thinks that we Spaniards uh, go with the flamenco dress every day. <laughs> that's, that's real. I, I, some I, Japanese... I, I'm I'm right there with you because like I'm from Oklahoma and I'm not 100 percent sure. Like you probably have no idea where that is in the United States. It's in the <laughs> middle and it's the state that kind of looks like a like a kettle, kind of like a pot. <laughs> that's like a oh. saucepan. That's that's what my state looks like. And we're oh. known for having, um, you know, like cowboys and Indians and everything like oh, that and horses. Okay. So when I <laughs> went to L.A., I was sitting on a plane and. <laughs> lady asked i told her where i was from because we were in a connecting mm. flight so i told her where i was from and she was like oh do you know how to ride a horse and i'm like <laughs> it's 2018 i don't know how to ride a horse uh, it's oh like God. like they think that you know uh like oklahoma be like we ride horses to work we live in teepees it's <laughs> still the old west and i'm like no i i live in a condo i i don't i don't know what you want from me yeah yeah like, i've I, <laughs> seen a horse and I, I gave one a pat on the nose but that was all I've ever done with a horse mm. <laughs> yeah so so, so what what about the Japanese what, what do they think about you guys other than you guys uh, apparently you guys only wear flamingo dresses yeah uh, oh, you you have to know uh, J Japanese people have a park a thematic park about Spain that's real okay oh, really? <laughs> and, yeah and they have uh, like different parts of Spain in that thematic park and attractions like, you know, <laughs> like a Disney World thing put in his, like a Spanish theme. That's and crazy. they have... That's really weird. And I see a lot of Spanish people like go there and they laugh a lot because they're like, oh, look, we are like... Or, uh, they are all flamencos and bulls and ole ole <laughs> or paella and I like oh my god Japan people. <laughs> so but it's okay we we love kimonos they like flamenco so <laughs> we like each other right I guess <laughs> exactly it's like uh it's it's like from whatever part of the world you're from like here like the United States like we love samurai samurai are super cool. When you go to hmm. Japan, it's like, yeah, no, we have samurai. We've had them for years. Like, we like, you know, like, gunfights and stuff like that. So, it's like, it, yeah. depending on what part of the world you're from, hmm. you usually like the other thing. Like, the thing that you're not accustomed to. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think that's why, you know, I mean, you know, people here, um, I mean, because we, like, where I live, we're pretty close to Mexico. So, we <laughs> have a lot of, you know, Mexican influence in a lot of our media and a lot of our... Uh, especially in our southern culture that we have a lot of it but hmm. so like when people think spain yeah you're absolutely right they think bullfights uh hmm. they think tapas they think yeah. um uh yeah like flamingo dresses like that's what they think so yeah hmm. it's, it's one of those things that unfortunately does get stereotyped just like hmm. you know people who are in you know live in big cities think that you know the rest of us live in teepees so hmm. yeah and that's why I want to show some a different side of Spain. <laughs> that's why just give us some love because Spaniards, uh, we we are. I think we are the only country in you in Europa in Europe. Sorry, that we hate our own country. 
<laughs> oh no, you should come yeah. to America. We hate everybody. We hate the the person next to us. Oh like, no! Yeah, it's like uh, we're right there with you. Oh, I, I know you have because uh, like there's a lot of the stuff that's going on with Catalonia and everything. Oh yeah, they're wanting to break away. We still hmm. have people. We fought a civil war, like hmm. uh, like more than a hundred years ago, and the South still has still hates everybody. Oh, so wow. I mean, it, it's it's just something that that happens everywhere. Nobody's ever happy with anything. Yeah, yeah, but maybe I mean Americans sometimes you see in the show in the TV they have the you know they have some love to their country. We don't have that. <laughs> we hate Spain. You know, when it was the that Europe show about singing, uh, Eurovision, we are, we were proud of be the last <laughs> one of the list. <laughs> we have the zero points and we love <laughs> Oh, man. That was hilarious. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, when is uh, Laleen's Curse coming back? Because, I mean, I know you've got the featured, so hmm. we you had to take all of the, the old stuff down other than, like, the Q&As and everything. But hmm. when is uh, Laleen's Curse coming back for everybody to reread? Okay, it's coming uh, next year around February and March, around those months, yeah. Excellent. I don't know exactly, but yeah. Oh, that's per well. Hey, that's still fine. We'll, hmm. just, we'll just uh, are, are you? I see. I, I and I have no idea how the featured stuff goes because we've talked hmm. with people that have been featured. Um, hmm. But will you still be updating with like Q and As and everything like that, or how is how is that going to work? Okay, I have to update every week. So maybe the Q and As are um. When I can do a, a proper episode, I maybe I'm a bit sick or something. I will do a, 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 a Q and I mm -hmm. or something like really a small episode. But yeah, not that much. I want to bring back the the fan art corner. Okay, um, yeah. yeah, and the and a dictionary with uh, Spanish English. So everything uh, I want to bring some like Spanish words, but really, really uh, easy ones like "hola." That, that, that's an easy one. So, <laughs> so I wanna put that in the in the last uh, of the episode in the final a dictionary like "hola" means hi, hello. So. Uh, readers don't start like, oh, but there's a lot of Spanish. Uh, I can I can read this. <laughs> I I received a lot of comments in the first episode like that, and it was like, but you you only have hola and adios. <laughs> why why are you? <laughs> but oh, it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna bring a dictionary so readers can can un understand everything and they feel more comfort comfortable with the comic. And I can show maybe some Spanish that <laughs> you should so. you should have like uh like Maria's uh Spanish to uh English class where maybe like have like a little bitty Maria and she's like today we're gonna learn that hola means hello. Yeah, that's 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 cute. Um yeah. I want to do something like that. Hmm. Yeah, it's not like it's... That, that 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 actually sounds really cool. Yeah, or explain that oh this monument is this because the, I have a lot of uh, like I have um I drew a monument in in some episode that people doesn't know and I understand because it's it's um, a really North Spain thing. Mm -hmm. the, some people thought that it was a church because the the cross, but no, it was just um like a granny. Uh, wait, no, uh, farm. Like a farm thing to to save uh, some meals. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just a uh, agri. Uh, how to say it? A uh, agriculture? No. Uh, a farm. A farm yeah, thing. Yeah, kind of, kind of like a granary. 
Yes, that a greenery exactly. That that's that's it. So I can to explain that to the readers. Hey, this is this. So they they know. Oh, I know something new. <laughs> that's gonna be cool. Oh, hmm. Excellent. Um, now, Isabel, uh, can you tell everybody where they can find you and your comic? Uh, where they can find on, me? On, on social media, on social media. Not, oh, okay. I, not, I'm not telling everybody to go to Spain <laughs> and, like, hunt you down or anything. <laughs> okay, they can find me in Twitter and Instagram. So, in uh, Isaki TM, M, and... And yeah, they then when in Webtoon when I can relaunch, and I will relaunch my Patreon too. So okay. <laughs> I will tweet that <laughs> so people can follow me. But yeah, uh, mainly uh, Twitter and Instagram. Excellent. And uh, what about your comic? Um, uh, my comic, uh, they can find. In Webtoon. I guess they can find it in Webtoons, but, I mean, they can't read anything in Webtoons. Yeah. At the moment, it's like, if you want to go and read the Q&As, go read the Q&As, because that, that, that does give um, some nice uh, character development and everything like that, and tells a little bit about everything, too, which is nice. So you do, hmm. give, you do give some some background and everything, which is, which is really cool. Yeah, but there's nothing more because I have to every every uh, author in this in this cover has has to uh, remove all the comic, so people don't uh, put that comic in other websites, and they can hurt your views. And yeah, so I need to remove all of that and then we're gonna relaunch so i'm sorry <laughs> that oh, no worries and yeah um, we'll put um a link to all of your social media and we'll put hmm. a link to the webtoons as well um and <laughs> you know we'll always you know you know post everything on our site once everything because i mean there's quite a few that are um now going to become featured so hmm. we have quite a few uh you know like uh, webtoons and um interviews that we've done with creators that are that have been featured that hmm. we're just waiting for you know webtoon to you know actually relaunch and then we're going to post yeah. all of that on our social media as well so you'll be able to catch that too so that oh, way and we'll put links so that way everybody hmm. can go to it and you know start reading afresh nice that's nice <laughs> thank you <laughs> oh no problem and you can find me on twitter and instagram at josh l kane you can find the podcast on Instagram at Animation Station Podcast, on Twitter at Animate Podcast, Facebook and Tumblr Animation Station Podcast. All of our podcast episodes are available on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, Google Play, anywhere that you can download a podcast. We're pretty much there. You can also go to our website, animationstationpodcast.com, and find all of our episodes and chat with us there. Isabel, thanks so much for coming on. This was really, really cool. Oh, thank you for for uh, everything. And sorry if I can pronounce something. Oh no, you're <laughs> hope... totally fine. You're totally fine. <laughs> so hope your your uh, views and can uh, hear me fine. And thank you for your patience patience with me. <laughs> oh no problem at all. You were great. You were great. Thank you, thank you. All right, so for the Animation Station podcast, I'm Josh. Isabel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>